All right, guys, we're going old school today, filming on a cell phone. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here, not at the House of Masks. I'm actually on a road trip right now, and of course, some stuff would happen with Slipknot while I am nine hours away from home. So today, we are going to be talking about the premiere of Corey Taylor's new We Are Not Your Kind mask, which somehow broke the internet even more than his original We Are Not Your Kind mask. I'm going to just be talking briefly about the new mask and how I feel about it, how I see the internet reacting to it, and so on and so forth. So first of all, I'm sure everybody wants to know, am I a fan of the new mask? Well, I don't really know. I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. In some shots it looks amazing, and in other shots it looks kind of goofy. I've seen it look really well done so far, and I've also seen it look like a very generic mask from Spirit Halloween. So I still think that it's a little too early for me to just say, yeah, I absolutely love this mask, or fuck that mask, that's the worst mask I've ever seen. Now, do I personally think that it's better than the original We Are Not Your Kind mask? Yes and no. I think that the debut We Are Not Your Kind mask was terribly executed. I think that that ruined it for everybody right off the get-go. They had the big bloated cheeks. It just wasn't done right. It was a fantastic idea, in my opinion, that just wasn't well executed, and that seemed to stick throughout all of the changes that he made to that mask. Now, personally, I am far more of a fan of the later variations of that mask, like the Birth of the Cruel version, and pretty much any of the Stitch Mouth versions. I just think that it was a very cool concept, the clear with the ever-changing paint job underneath. I just really, really like that. So, the later versions, no. I still like the We Are Not Your Kind original debut stitched mask better than I like this new We Are Not Your Kind mask the V2, if you will. However, that could change. We've literally seen this new mask at one show, so who's to say what could happen in the future? Now let's get on with some of my critiques or opinions on this new mask. Is it creepy? Yes. Is that very Slipknot? No, I don't think that Slipknot's really ever been about the scare factor. If we go all the way back to the original masks from the self-titled era, none of those masks were really meant to be scary. And what I mean by that is uh, kind of like a haunted house type deal. Something that is purposely creepy. It just didn't happen. Clown's Mask was literally a store-bought mask from Spencer's that was made in Germany in the 70s and 80s. And it was creepy because it wasn't meant to be creepy. Sid's Gas Masks, again, just military masks with some slight changes like filters removed or strapping redone. Not meant to be creepy, just creepy because they were creepy. This mask seems a little more on the mushroom head side of things where it's like Corey's trying to fit a shtick. He's trying to fit a gimmick. He's trying to make something that is actually scary. And it sounds like that was his goal from the beginning because I remember him telling stories about this mask in interviews saying that his wife doesn't like it, saying that he's got something that's really gonna scare the kids. However, I just don't personally see that as a very Slipknot thing to do. I don't think that their masks were ever meant to be spooky or creepy or scary, not on purpose anyways. So everything that I'm about to tell you, I'm sure that you have seen by now. As I mentioned, I am on a road trip right now and it was very late last night by the time that we finally saw photos and videos of this new mask. So I didn't get around to making a video until just before I upload this. So I'm literally shooting this editing and uploading straight. This isn't going to Patreon or anything like that. So I'm sure by now you've heard all the critiques about this mask. Yes, it looks like a baseball. Yes, it looks like something from Borderlands. Yes, it looks like something from Tim Burton's movies. Yes, it looks like the .5 mask with some slight changes like the eyes added to it, more stitching, etc. Yes, it looks like the Dr. Decker mask that me and Corey Taylor talked about in my interview with him a few years back. Yes, it looks like Gurr from Invader Zim. It looks like all of these things, and that is okay. Throughout a lot of Slipknot's career, when they finally started having SPFX artists make these masks for them, we have seen inspiration from other things that exist in pop culture or in the world in general. For instance, the biggest example that I can give is Sid's Transformer mask from the All Hope is Gone era the DJ Starscream mask. This is very, very clearly some sort of shout out or nod to Transformers, which Sid obviously loves. So I think that it is perfectly fine for Corey Taylor to get inspiration and take inspiration and meld it into a mask of his own. And you can very clearly see that it's not just a Dr. Decker mask. Like they made a lot of changes to it. I personally think that there are a lot of callbacks to other Corey Taylor masks, which Corey has kind of always done anyways. I think that it's very subtle and it gets lost in the mist and a lot of people don't see that, but 
I personally see some Iowa in this mask. I see some All Hope is Gone in this mask. And I definitely see some 0.5 Corey in this mask. So all in all, these are my thoughts on Corey Taylor's new mask. I would love to hear what you guys have to say about it down below. I'm sorry that I didn't get this video out in a timely manner. And I'm also sorry that I'm shooting on my phone, but it's gotta show you some commitment to the cause when I'm sitting nine hours away from my house, cranking this video out at what? seven in the morning and just trying to get it up for you guys by the time that I normally upload. So again, I apologize, but I hope that this shows a little bit of commitment on my end. And with all of that being said, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very, very much for watching. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. And I'm looking forward to seeing some new We Are Not Your Kind Slipknot stuff premiering. I know that V-Man has a new mask, a uh, slightly new mask. It's pretty similar to the one that he had before the break, but it is slightly different. So uh, we'll have to talk about that at a later point on the channel as well. Yes, I'm rambling at this point. So again, thank you guys for watching. And until next time, this has been AJ Good, not at the House of Masks, telling you to say no to drugs and alcohol and yes to new masks. And we'll see you guys later.